1985 Matchbox, as they often would over the years, wanted to do more than just toy cars and also wanted to take a bite out of the growing Lego business. To do so, they released the now almost forgotten toy line, Lincolns. The line was made up of balls and socket jointed vehicles that kids would build on their own. Either they could follow instructions or make their own rad vehicles. They would even sell action figures to put inside the vehicle. The ships were more than just joints and sockets. They were engines to add to the ship, but also you could create robots, aliens, dinosaurs, monsters, bugs, and more. Matchbox didn't hold back with 22 sets made and 4 action figures released. The action figure sets had no names, leaving kids to name the figures themselves. There was a figure with a gray shirt and blue pants that had a white chest plate. That same figure was also released with a yellow chest plate. Two other figures were released dressed in green. Both of these were aliens, and one had a helmet. The box sets were the Chicken Monster, Dinosaurs, Green Beast, Master Robots, Megadorm, the OT-40 Ship, Radions, the Robo Racers, Robot, Space Bugs, a Space Monkey, Space Walkers, Star Warrior, Terra Tech, Transmission Team, the Transport Team, the space station. There was also bigger box sets to let you build your own. The expanded set, the expander workshop, the workshop one, and the workshop two. Two Robug figures would come with a cassette tape that kids could listen to for a great adventure related to the toy. To help push the line to kids, Matchbox did what any good toy company would do in the 80s. They had a cartoon series based on the line. The cartoon was produced by Dick Animation. The cartoon was produced by Dick Animation and released in 1986. The show would only last one season with 65 episodes. But I will add a note here that I only could find this information on this website. I could find no images from the cartoon. I could find no clips on YouTube of the cartoon. I could find nowhere else on the internet talking about this cartoon. So I'll leave it to you if you think it really exists or not. The cartoon failed to help the toy line take off. Matchbox would even sell some of their successful toy cars with a coupon to get a free Linux to try and boost sales, but that didn't help and Matchbox canceled a line due to low sales by the end of 1986. It was clear the line was made out of love and was fun for kids that did buy it. They were easy to assemble into the toys shown on the box or to even make your own monster, alien, vehicle, dinosaur, or whatever. I think if the action figures came with the set rather than having to buy them on their own, that could have added a little bit more play value for a kid. But I think one thing that may really hurt this toy line was the commercial. Most toy companies were making commercials that made the toys look fun and exciting and made the kids playing with them look cool. But Matchbox decided to go with a totally different angle. They made a commercial that was annoying, confusing, and made you hate everything about it. We are Lincoln's kids and we want to build a brand new world. Lincoln's on the link to a world of fun. Twisted Ben, Pop and Fun. Lincoln's for everyone. Lincoln's, Lincoln's building sex. From Matchbox, now kids can build a brand new world. That might be the worst toy kid commercial ever made. Today, the sets can be found on eBay still in the box for under $20, at times under $10, and most of the time going unsold. Well, that's a look at the forgotten toy line from Matchbox, Lincolns. Thank you for watching. As always, thumb up to like my content, subscribe to the channel. Talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>